Good morning, everyone. I wanted to make a quick update video slash tour. It's been a pretty crazy past couple weeks and I've been really busy and there's just a ton of stuff going on around here. So that means there's a lot to get to, there's a lot going on and let's get right into it. So we'll start off in my twin wall panel greenhouse and the update in here is that I finally got the last two raised beds in here built. And I don't have them filled up yet. That's what I'm gonna be doing right after I'm done recording this video. Once they're filled up, I have these pepper seedlings ready to go and we'll be getting a ton of peppers out of this greenhouse. I'm just starting to get stuff out of my greenhouses. I just took a couple peppers out of here, but there's a couple more that are really close that are gonna be ready any day now. And then there's, I don't even know, like a hundred tomatoes that are gonna be ready in there. We're gonna have to get to work on preserving all that. The garden right outside of our greenhouse is here. I think some of these raised beds are struggling with how hot it is and how little rain we've gotten. Like we've gotten some radishes and some beets, but we've had lettuce that's just gone to bolt right away or really bitter. But we're still getting some food and these carrots are almost ready and we replanted a bunch. But our Brussels sprouts and our tomatoes out here and our onions and potatoes are doing really well. Potato plants above our greenhouse are looking really strong. That brings me to the new section of garden that I've been building this year and specifically these this past month, few weeks or so. The start of last month, this whole area right here, everything besides this bed here was just a lawn and it's taken a lot of time and effort and a lot of soil hauling to get everything in place. I put three raised beds here in front of my uh, this new section of garden. These are cedar offcuts from the cedar logs that we milled or that my cousin milled for me. And he just had a pile of them left over and said I could have them. So I've been using that material as much as possible and they're perfect for raised beds because they're cedar, they're still pretty thick and they have a flat side so you can connect them pretty easily. So I built those beds, got them filled up, planted potatoes in there and they're all germinated, looking really good. And we built a trellis for mega bed here out of logs. We stuck eight Y branches into the ground and then ran logs in between and then ran logs in between those logs. So far this has worked really well and this is really sturdy. There's like 20 tomatoes in this one bed, so having this long-term trellis system is really nice. But this is something I don't have to set up again for a few years at least, hopefully, and that's gonna save us a lot of time and give us a lot of good food out of here. And we also built some more beds in front of my greenhouse, cabbage and a couple wildflower patches. And then this area behind all of our raised beds in the very corner of our fenced-in garden space, uh, this was tilled earlier this year and we planted corn, sorghum, millet, and sunflower seeds, and this is all gonna be for our chickens, or at least most of it for our chickens. We're gonna try to use some of it ourselves. A lot of the corn's doing really well up front here, and some sunflower on the middle, and then this was a patch of corn back here, but nothing germinated, because as soon as I planted it, there was an army of chipmunks out here, and they dug all of, oh, there goes one right now, and they dug up all of the corn that I planted, uh, but the sorghum, and millet and sunflower are doing really well and I just replanted all of the sunflower in the dry patches and got a fresh layer of hay on top. The wildflower bed we made germinated back in the corner here. So it's been a lot of work and effort to get this thing built but I'm very happy with where things are currently. So that kind of leads me into talking about my channel. I haven't put out a video in a couple weeks before this one and there was a few reasons for that. Um, the biggest one is I was doing all this garden work and it's basically just moving logs and hauling soil back and forth. Well, I guess just just forth. I wasn't exactly sure how to put into a video. But now I'm very happy with where this garden's at. And there's still a few things left that I have to do to finish it up completely. But I have a majority of the work done. And now I can move on to more exciting or fun builds and projects that I have planned for the rest of the summer and this fall. Another thing I want to mention that I've been doing this past couple weeks, our loggers just showed up again to finish up this uh, contract job that we have with them. So they've been starting on the front quarter of our property and they've been working their way through our woods here. So that's taken up a lot of our time as well because we've been going through and marking trees to keep or to take out, stuff like that. So that's taken up a lot of time as well. I'm gonna be doing a whole video on all of that in the near future. And I was just kind of pulled in many different directions and I didn't have enough for any of those one things to make a video about it, if that makes sense. So all the stuff's gonna be happening very soon. All the videos are going to be coming out and it's a very exciting time around here. Sheep are doing well. Their little pasture area is between my garden and my orchard. I was planning on using my sheep in my orchard a lot, but yeah. they were eating the trees down too much. So I kind of keep them in their paddock now. And I don't really need the sheep in my orchard that much anymore. 
because I have all of these chickens in here. I have my first batch of hens that I got last year. There's a few of them left with my rooster. And then I have about 30 uh, pullets in here. These things have gotten so big so fast. They control all of the grass. And I don't really have to spend any time mowing in here. We planted some crimson clover and that's taken over a lot of this area. Hopefully it's bringing in some pollinators, fixing some nitrogen for the trees. And I don't have to mow it, which is awesome. And then my fruit is looking really good in here as well. Very excited for the harvest this year. Uh, my honeyberries already fruited and I harvested them all. Same thing with my currants in the corner back there. And then my raspberry patch in the very back corner of my orchard is chocked full of berries. Are gonna be ripe here any day now. And I'm excited to get in there and clean up that entire spot. Then besides that, there's a bunch of apples and all the apple trees, the grape vines have a ton of grapes hanging down. That all is good in the orchard. And speaking of chickens mixed in with fruit bushes, my meat birds in my blueberry patch, they're all doing really well. The blueberries are on their second year. I planted them last year. A lot of them have a lot of berries on them. So that's awesome news. I've been moving the meat birds around that patch. They've been controlling the grass for me. Same strategy I'm using in here. A few of the birds are ready to go and the rest of them should be joining them shortly. And I am gonna be trying to process them myself for the first time this time around. So I'm gonna be doing that in the next uh, week or so. I'm gonna be filming that entire process and making a video about that. Yeah, there's a lot going on around here. Stuff's gonna be harvesting. Uh, we're gonna be clearing more space, turning this into pasture. And there's a couple more building projects that I have planned that are gonna be really fun. 